To set up one-time passcodes, you have to create the passcode inside Microsoft Teams Rooms Management Portal. So we go to portal.rooms.microsoft.com and then sign in with our account. If I move down to planning and then resource accounts, I can see all of my resource accounts and there's that generate OTP button, which I can push and then select the resource account that I want to use my one-time passcode with. All right, I'm looking for my mtr.mtrustler.one account. There we go, find it, click next. And now I wanna automatically generate passwords for all selected accounts. So now you should be asking, wait, 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 what? What do you mean change passwords? Yes, using the one-time passcode changes the password of the resource account to something you kind of don't know, a random password. It'll show you the password later, but just know for now, the resource account password changes as part of this process. So I click next, and now I can see that, look at the top there, auto-generate password is yes, and the account selection shows me the account or accounts that I've selected, and now I click generate, and magic happens. Now we see this 0% completed. This doesn't take very long, so I'm not gonna fast forward through this. It pretty much goes from 0% to done, there we are. So I'm gonna click download with passwords, because I wanna see my passwords. If you're gonna change the passwords on me, show me the passwords. So open this Excel file and expand the columns and we can see there the display name, the one-time password, the OTP, when the one-time password expires and then the password that was magically set for my resource account, which I may want to document for future use. Now that I have my passcode, let me go to my Teams Rooms console here, the center of table control, and it's on the get started screen, so I'll tap that. I will look at the end user agreement, looks good to me. And now I will type in my one-time passcode. So let me type that in super fast. While I'm doing that, I do want to point out that this requires the Teams Rooms Windows app version 4.19.57 or later. So if you grab a new Teams Rooms off the shelf, it probably won't have that. So you won't see this experience unless you reset but eventually the OEMs will have this in their shipping version. Wait, what does this mean? Waiting for admin to approve your request? Well, let's go back to the pro management portal and see what's up. I'm back in the portal and there, when I go look at my mtr.mtrustor.one, I see there's an awaiting approval setting or notice now. So I'll, I'll click on that, go to the OTP section and then I can approve the request. So I'll do that and click submit and let's see what is happening over on our MTR. So we look right away and we still see it's waiting for the uh, administrator and there we go, no touches, all magic. It goes and there we are, we're signed in, victory. We're good to go. Let me show you a few things you may run into though to make this process run a little more smoothly and give you a little more background info. I'm back in my pro portal and I see all these resource accounts, but let me go ahead and pick one and I'll pick on Sharad Abraham's MT and what I picked on his account and generate. Oh, wait, hold on. If I go down to one of my accounts here, it's available over here. It says no action needed here. It says need action. So let's go back to one of Sharad's um, MTRs and click on it. And what ends up happening is there's all these preferred settings they want you to use so we can turn off some things and and add additional response. Hi, there we go. A save, sure. We wanna update these settings. And we're, okay, cool. Well, remove private property, no. Save, yes. So we've taken these recommendations for the account, but when I edit, I can't change this. It still says needs action. Um, okay, one time, what if I click off one time? It's still not, why I, I, so what ends up needing to happen with my studying or stuttering around is we really do need to explicitly disable the password expiration policy. Now the standard for resource accounts is all password expirations should be denied. Like passwords should not expire on resource accounts. On this tenant, it's a demo tenant. We have disabled password expiration on the entire tenant, so none of these accounts get it. However, the pro management portal is looking for an explicit disabling of the policy for this resource account. 
So how do we disable the password expiration policy on a resource account? Let me introduce you to my friend, PowerShell. I've opened a terminal window inside Windows, and it defaults to PowerShell, which is cool. I need to connect to Azure AD, Azure Active Directory, now Entra ID. So I'll do that by going connect dash Azure AD, enter, and it's gonna pop up asking for my credentials. So let me put those in. Now that I have that put in, I need to explicitly disable password expiration for this account. So there we go, set dash Azure AD user minus object ID mtr.sabraham.2 at jabrademos.com. That is the resource account. And the password policies is disable password expiration. So I click that, hit enter, and it goes pretty quickly. And let me verify now that this has taken place. So I'm going to get Azure AD user, the same account, and I'm only gonna select password policies. And we see disable password expiration is applied. So now that I've explicitly disabled password expiration, which is probably what you've done for your resource accounts, this is just weird for me. But again, troubleshooting, let's go back to Pro Management Portal and see what it says now. And back in Pro Management Portal, we still see Sharat's account is needs action, so let's refresh and see if this change has already taken effect or not. So, Shrot Abraham, which account did we do? Two, so it's this one here. Still needs action, but notice the disabled password expiration policy is now set to yes, and the uh, action it needs, I, I noticed earlier, was that one, so let's just uh, save that. Yes. Now let's pop back and see if we can create a one-time password. So let's go on to Sharat's account here. And now we can see generate OTP. And then we can go find his account, which is already highlighted, and we can go through the process. So one thing to keep in mind there is make sure that these uh, accounts are set up the way Pro Portal would like to see them, where you have the no action needed option as well as explicitly password policy is expired. So if the account doesn't match exactly what Pro Management Portal wants to see for its preferred settings, you will not be able to create a one-time passcode. One last thing, and that has to do with that approval of the one-time passcode being used. Remember the sign-in paused until I approved the one-time passcode. What if you don't want that? Also, what if you want the one-time passcodes to last longer than the default? And what is the default for one-time passcodes? So within resource accounts, I'm gonna click on preferences. And here we can see that it defaults to eight hours, but we can you know, change that to whatever we'd like. And then here's the OTP auto approval. We can turn that on. And now the one-time passcode is automatically approved. So I don't have to go back to the pro management portal and approve the one-time passcode usage.